So in this video, we're going to talk about the different tools you're going to need for knitting. Uh, each project is going to use a very specific type of tool that we're going to need, and I'll go through those at the start of every project. But I just wanted to give a quick overview of the different types of knitting needles there are and other tools that you might need um, as we go through our projects. So knitting needles are sized in either U.S. sizes, um, which are usually a zero or triple zero, actually I think it's the smallest one, all the way up, I've seen 25 or US 50. Um, those also correspond to um, the millimeters, um, the, um, the radius of the knitting needle in millimeters. So either one works, you can go by either one, almost everybody uses both. Um, one of the tools I have here is a knitting needle gauge. Uh, it looks like this. Um, this one, if you turn it over, you can see that it's got the sizes listed. And all you do to figure out your size is you take your knitting needle and you stick it through the hole and see if it fits. And if it fits, that's your needle size. So that's really handy to have as you go and you're knitting um, a lot and you start picking up a lot of different sizes. The size markings often wear off of needles. Uh, so that's a really nice, nice thing to have. So there are uh, lots of different types of needles. The first one is your classic straight knitting needle. They look like this. Um, this is what I'm going to recommend for our first project, which is going to be a washcloth. Um, I'm also going to recommend bamboo uh, to most knitters, just uh, especially beginner knitters, because it has some grip to it and it holds on to the yarn a lot easier than metal does. So these are straight uh, knitting needles. We also have DPNs or double pointed needles. They look like this. They have a, a point on either end. Um, and these ones are used for socks or knitting in the round. Uh, they are, you can knit off of either end of the needle. So you'll often knit with the left hand side. And then um, as you uh, move the stitches on, you'll come back through and you'll knit on the other end. So these are really useful for knitting in the round um, and especially socks, we're definitely going to need those. They typically come in packs of five or six. Um, and again, you can get them very inexpensively. Um, bamboo are great ones to have. These ones are actually called carbons. This is a carbon fiber body with um, a metal tip. And the reason I like these is the carbon fiber body will um, hold on to my yarn uh, much better than wood does or... Uh, much better than metal does and um, the metal tip is nice and sharp. So our other option is a circular needle. So circular needles are uh, two knitting needles that are connected with a cable in the middle. So this is not called a cable needle. These are circular needles because you knit in a circle and these are fixed. So this is one is a fixed length. So it, I cannot change out the length of the cable. So once I buy it, it's a fixed uh, needle size and a fixed cable length. You can buy them in all different sizes. That's a 24 inch. This is one example. This is a nine inch. So you can see the difference. Um, the thing with these is you always have to purchase what you need for your project. Uh, and so you end up getting a lot of these with a lot of different lengths uh, and that works great for some people. For me, I didn't love having that many needles, so I bought what's called an interchangeable needle kit. And what that is, is there's a separate cable and you can see that it's got a little uh, screw on one end and you just take your needle, which looks like this, and you screw it into the end if I can get it on there I'm not looking at it and then they also come with this little tightening key so you need to use this and you stick it in the hole in the cable it's right here and then you can tighten that down otherwise the cables will come loose from the needle and sometimes you can get catching right here so that's the needles so again we have interchangeable circular needles which are these the fixed circular needles, double point needles, and a standard straight needle. So some of the other tools that are nice to have while you're knitting include a uh, darning needle. This one we're going to need to have for every project that we do. We use this for weaving in the ends. And then stitch markers. And stitch markers you can get all different kinds. Um, this is uh, just a simple round one. This one comes open like a safety pin. And then the triangles are nice 
they tend not to get in the way quite as much as the circular ones do. There's also fancy ones with like little acrylic cutouts on them and everything like that. Um, but I recommend just picking up some basic little circles. You can also use yarn. You can use anything for, uh, for stitch markers. This is just happens to be what I have. So in the next video, I'm also going to talk about yarn weight and I'm going to talk about, um, yarn fibers. So those are going to be the first two things that we're going to need to talk about before we get into the actual knitting.